Cambridge North Railway Station is a railway station located in the Cambridge suburb of Chesterton, close to Cambridge Science Park. The station is on the Fen Line, which runs from Cambridge to Kings Lynn. It connects to the Cambridgeshire Guided Busway, and provides an interchange with park and ride and local bus services. The station was approved in December 2013, construction commenced in July 2014, and it opened on 21 May 2017, delayed from December 2015. It has three platforms, Platform 1 on the eastern side of the station serves southbound fast services to Cambridge and London King's Cross, Platform 2 serves northbound services to Ely, Kings Lynn and Norwich, Platform 3 is a south-facing bay serving semi-fast services to London Liverpool Street via Cambridge and Bishop Stortford, and stopping services to London King's Cross via Cambridge and Stevenage. History Proposals. <laughs> 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 The first proposal for a station serving the north of Cambridge were made in 2003 in the Cambridgeshire and Peterborough Structure Plan, which saw the facility as a means of supporting growth in the Cambridge sub-region and are delivering an integrated transport network. A major scheme business case and GRIP2 study were presented to the Department for Transport in 2007. The business case identified a site on the West Anglia main line, approximately 3 miles kilometers to the north of Cambridge Station, which is owned by Network Rail and partly leased to English, Welsh and Scottish Railway as stabling sidings. The station would be located on or very near the site of Chesterton Railway Station, which closed in 1850. The station would provide an interchange facility with the local transport network, including the Cambridgeshire Guided Busway, and would offer a public transport alternative for trips to the Cambridge Science Park and new development in the Cambridge Northern Fringe. The business case put forward four options for the facility of which its preferred one was a three-platform station comprising a bay platform on the alignment of the former St. Ives Line and an island platform on the main line. This option was costed at £15 million and showed a benefit cost ratio of 3.09. Progress was slow due to a number of issues, including the need to retain Chesterton Junction Yard as an aggregate handling sidings and difficulties in relocating rail freight operations elsewhere, as well as funding difficulties resulting from the loss of the Transport Innovation Fund support mechanism and regional plan planning and associated instruments such as the East of England Regional Funding Assessment. Following the demise of the TIF, which led to plans for a congestion charge in Cambridge to be put on hold, Conservative Party literature indicated that the station would not go ahead, which prompted local transport group Cast Iron to propose a cheaper single platform station in Milton Road as an interim solution. By this time, the cost of a new station had risen to £24 million, of which £21 million had been expected to be provided through government funding, and Cambridgeshire County Council began seeking alternative options. The council eventually settled on an approach whereby it would provide the initial capital funding and recoup the cost over a period of time from access charges paid by train operating companies. In February 2011, Cambridge MP Julian Huppert gave his support to the project along with the leader of Cambridge City Council, Sean Reid. In September 2011, Theresa Villiers, the Minister of State for Transport, visited Cambridge, and discussed the proposed station with county council members, saying that the government was interested in further development of the council's proposal. Topic. 
Topic Approval. In February 2012, Teresa Villiers sent a letter of support to Cambridgeshire County Council indicating that so long as the station's business case remained positive, it would be included in the timetable for the reletting of the East Anglia franchise covering the Fen Line. A revised business case produced in 2012 found a benefit cost ratio of 4.5.1. The council released details of a proposed service pattern comprising four off-peak up and down trains per hour and indicated that the planning process would begin in 2013. On the 18th of December 2013, Cambridge City Council approved plans for the new station. Works began in July 2014 to extend the Cambridgeshire guided busway to the station site. Completion of the station works was scheduled for December 2015, but this was delayed until May 2017 due to Network Rail's desire to minimize disruption to existing services and its resubmission of plans for the station's construction. On the 19th of August 2015, Cambridge City Council approved Network Rail's new plans for the station, which were not substantially different from the original plans put forward forward by Cambridgeshire County Council in 2013. Following Network Rail's intervention, the cost of the station was revised upwards to £44 million. Naming The proposed station was initially referred to as Chesterton or Chesterton Interchange. Numerous suggestions were put forward for the official name, including Stephen Hawking Cambridge Science Park, which was supported by Julian Huppert and Daniel Zeichner. In December 2014, Cambridge City Council and South Cambridgeshire District Council launched a consultation to select the name from a choice of four, Cambridge Science Park, Cambridge North, Chesterton Interchange or Cambridge Fen. On the 11th of March 2015, councillors at Cambridgeshire County Council voted to recommend to Network Rail that the station should be called Cambridge North. According to Graham Hughes, the Council's Director of Economy, Transport and Environment, stated that the name would provide a good indication of the station's geographical location, adding that calling it, "...Cambridge Science Park", could be misleading as that was situated three-quarters mile away and, in any event, Trinity College, which owns the Science Park, had not come out in support. By contrast, St. John's Innovation Center was closer and landowners, including the Crown Estate, had been lobbying to have the station named, The Business Park. <laughs> Opening It was intended that the interior fit-out of the station take place between October 2016 and February 2017. On New Year's Eve 2016, new signalling and a crossover for the bay platform was installed. The infrastructure was authorised for passenger use by April 2017, and the station's opening and first timetabled passenger services went ahead on the 21st of May 2017. Approximately 320,000 passengers used the station in its first 12 months of operation. Topic Facilities. The original design for the station was submitted by Atkins. This was revised by Network Rail when it became the principal contractor. Network Rail updated the car park's design to maximize its potential as a park and ride facility. 
The facilities comprise a 450 square meter, 4800 square feet station building comprising a passenger waiting area, toilets, ticket office, retail and amenity space and staff accommodation. An overbridge links the building with two 254 meter, 833 feet platforms capable of accommodating 12 car trains. The easternmost platform faces the upline of the Fen Line, while the second platform is an island platform with the down Fen Line on one side and a south-facing bay platform on the other. Two relayed freight lines for Lafarge run next to the bay platform. Interchange facilities are provided in the form of a 450 space car park, a cycle space for 1,000 bikes, new pedestrian and vehicular access from Cowley Road, and a 1 km .62 miles extension of the Cambridgeshire guided busway from Milton Road. The Cambridge Cycling Campaign published their proposals for integration of the new station with cycling and pedestrian facilities in November 2012. The cladding of the building features a pierced design derived from Rule 30, a cellular automaton introduced by Stephen Wolfram in 1983. Service pattern The station is served by Great Northern, Greater Anglia, and Thameslink. Cross-country services and some express trains do not call there. <laughs> Southbound 5 TPH to Cambridge, of which 3 TPH continue to London King's Cross, 1 fast and 2 stopping services 1 TPH continues to London Liverpool Street 1 TPH terminates at Cambridge, having originated at Norwich <laughs> Northbound 3 TPH to Ely, of which 1 TPH continues to Kings Lynn 1 TPH continues to Norwich 1 TPH terminates at Ely, having originated from London Kings Cross <laughs> <laughs> 